Welcome to the Inglewood Legend YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Now I know there's maybe a thousand or more what hat to wear, where not to wear what hat type videos floating and rotating around YouTube already. Some of them good, some of them great. Some of them it's great. all love, no hate, no hate. It's all content to me, and I respect it. I respect it. Keep going. My turn. Here's my breakdown and perspective. The Inglewood Legend, Inglewood Hat Edition. Let's go. Not necessarily number one, but first on the list. First. Inglewood Avenue Piru. Now this hat here is the Anaheim Angels baseball cap. And these guys right here, these guys are the Avenue Piru APG. The Avenue Pyrus are located predominantly off of 108th Street and Crenshaw Boulevard in the city of Inglewood. The Avenue Pyrus are known to sport this hat right here. Right here. Several other variations of it. The Atlanta Braves hat. The letter A in the Angels and Braves hat represents the A for Avenue. The Avenue Pyrus also sport the famous and classic Philly P hat as well. Yup, the old traditional burgundy in color with the white P on the front for Pyru. Number two, number deuce on the list is the Inglewood Legend Crips. Madge. The Legend Crips are located predominantly in the area of Arborvada and Prairie Avenue, Mid City, Inglewood. Inglewood. Now the Legend Crips are known to sport a couple of different hats as well. One in particular is the LA Dodgers baseball hat. Yeah. More often than not, the LA hat is going to be blue. The good old fashioned Dodger blue baseball hat. The legends are also known to sport any color variations of this hat, except red or burgundy. <laughs> Due to the neighborhood alliance and affiliation, the legends are also known to sport the good old New York Yankees hat too. Yeah, the NY hat for young neighborhoods. Neighbors. This hat is also worn in almost every color variation of the hat. This hat symbolizes Inglewood, Badge. neighborhood, Crip, 92nd Street. And that was number two on the list, the Inglewood Legend Crip. Number three on the list. Number three. Number three on the list is Inglewood 13. Yeah, I-13. I-13. The I-13s are a pretty large Hispanic gang with several cliques throughout the city of Inglewood. As a matter of fact, the Inglewood Thrustaves might have a click in just about every area and neighborhood in Inglewood. True story. Now the I-13s are known to sport this hat here. The Cleveland Indians baseball hat. Yeah. The eye right there on the front represents the eye for Inglewood. I, Inglewood. For sure. For sure. For sure. Now for depending sure. on the age and era of the I-13, he might even have on the old school, old English style letter, Inglewood hat. With the Inglewood stitched across the front, you might even see an I-13 with just a regular old plain I hat. And of course the I on the front symbolizes the I for Inglewood. Inglewood always up to no good. Real talk. Fast forward just a bit. Okay. Right there. Number four on the list. The Center Park Bloods. The Center Parks are over there predominantly off and around 108th, 109th, 110th. 111 and Crenshaw Boulevard, Crenshaw Boulevard. Yukon Doty and all that over there. over there. The center parks are known to sport the big bright red Cincinnati's hat with the C on the front for center, center park. It's two different color variations that they normally sport. This one and this one. Real talk. The center parks are also known to sport the Boston Red Sox hat as well. Yup. Number five on the list. Inglewood neighborhood Pyrus. Inglewood NHPs are located predominantly over there on the north side of Inglewood. Rogers Park, Inglewood Avenue, Plymouth, Victor. 500 block. The neighborhood Pyrus are known to sport the classic burgundy Philly P hat. Makes sense since Pyru color is burgundy, although Pyrus do wear red as well. True story. But this here burgundy Philly P hat is one of the hats. NHPs are definitely known to sport. I've also seen a few Inglewood NHPs rock the NY hat too. More than likely if they rock the New York Yankees hat, it's going to be either red, burgundy, or black. Real talk. The NY hat represents the NH yeah. and NHP. Neighborhood Pyro. Number six on the list. Number six on the list is going to be another Hispanic gang. 
Tepa 13. Tepa 13. Tepa 13s are predominantly located over there in between Prairie Avenue and Hartdorn Boulevard. 105th, 106th, 107th, 108th. Yeah, right there. The Tepas are known to rock Texas Longhorns at. This one right here with the long bull horns and the bull head symbolizes a T for Tepa. Tepa. I'm not too sure, so someone can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm wrong. But I believe the Tepa Thresays might also rock the Texas Rangers T hat too. Of course, the T represent the T for Tepa. Which brings me to number seven. Yeah. Number seven on the list is the Ten Deuce Tongue and Crips. TCG. Ten Deuce Tongue and Crips are mainly a tongue and family orientated gang in the city of Inglewood, but also border the city of Lenox. True story. The Tongue and Crips have several other cliques throughout the state of California, from the north to the south. Also cliques out of state, west coast and east coast, and even outside of the country. Real talk. But for right now, I'ma just mention the 10 Deuce Tongue and Crips in the city of Inglewood, or Inglewatts. The 10 Deuce Tongue and Crips are known to sport this here T hat, the Texas Rangers hat. And this hat right here, the Minnesota Twin City Hat, with the TC on the front. The T hat is worn by the Tonga Crips to represent the T for Tonga, or Tonga, TCG. If you see T hats in Inglewood, more than likely, they're going to be the Tonga Crips. Mm -hmm. Next. Number eight on the list, Inglewood Family. The Inglewood families are predominantly located over there off Crenshaw and Manchester Boulevard, CMT. The Inglewood families or the IFGs, including the Sentinella Park families. Yeah. Although the CPFs are also known to sport the Cincinnati Reds C hat too, as well as the Indian I hat. Of course, the I on the front represent the I in Inglewood. Inglewood. And the C represent the C in Sentinella. Sentinella. The Inglewood families are also known to sport a couple of different other hats. Like what you want. Like the Miami Marlins hat, with the fish in the back and the F in the front, to represent the F for family. The Cleveland Indians hat, they rock those too, in different color variations, but mainly this one right here, the red one. Oh, okay. Number nine on the list. Number nine on the list, the Crenshaw Mafia Gangsta Bloods, or CMG. The CMG is predominantly located in the Darby Dixon area, Darby Dixon area is also known as the Inglewood Bottoms. Inglewood Bottoms. The Bottoms is the area over there off 104th Street and Crenshaw Boulevard. The Crenshaw Mafias are known to support the Minnesota Twins M hat. They wear this hat in different color variations as well. The red M on the front of this hat is wore to represent, of course, the M for Mafia. Crenshaw Mafia, Gangsta Blood. True story. Number 10, the 10 Deuce Raymond Avenue Crips. Famous Raymond. The 10 Deuce Raymonds are predominantly located off 102nd Street in between Prairie Avenue and Hartthorne Boulevard. The 10 Deuce Raymonds are known to sport the Tampa Bay Stingrays baseball hat. Baseball the hat. Raymond Avenue Crips are also known to rock the Colorado Rockies hat as well. With the R and the C in the front to represent the R for Raymond and the C for Crip. This hat comes in several different color variations as well. So it don't matter what color is being worn. Real talk. This is known as the Raymond Avenue Crip Hat. The Rays. Yeah. Number 11. Number 11 on the list is the 106th Street, 18th Street, 13s. The 106th Street, 18th Streets are also another Hispanic gang within the city of Inglewood. Okay. The 18th Streets are over there off 106th Street and Yukon. Yukon. In between Yukon Avenue and Prairie Avenue. The 18th Streeters are known to sport the old-fashioned, old-school, original Raiders football hat. Raiders. Yup. And they also known to sport the L.A. Dodgers hat with the big, chunky L.A. on the L.A. on the D.C. Ocho. Several different color variations as well, but mainly blue, black, or brown in color. Last but not least, Last but not least. number 12 on the list is Imperial Village Crips. The IVCs are known to sport the New Orleans Saints NFL hat. This one right here. This hat come in several different color variations. The black, the white, etc., etc. Yeah. The Saints logo on the front is to represent two things. The eye in Imperial and the eye in Inglewood. Village. The Imperial Village Crips are also known to sport a regular old V hat too. Real talk. They call these type of hats 
V-Dome. V-Dome. The V-Dome is basically a custom-made hat with the letter V stitched on the front to represent the V for village. 119 times out of 10, if you see V-Hats around Inglewood, it's the Imperial Village Crib. True story. IVC. And that brings me to the end of Wait this. Wait a minute. Wait, Hold up. Hold up, man. Stop right there. Right there. What about the Queen Streets? The QSB? What about them? Well, to be honest, other than a regular custom-made Q hat, I never really knew what sports hat the Queen Street QSBs wore. But if anybody know what specific hat the Queen Streets are known to sport, let me know. Let me know. Answer in the comments. Good looking ass. Good looking ass. And before I go, this one here is an honorable mention based on the fact that part of they hood is in the city of Inglewood. The other part, Hartthorne, California. True story. These guys right here, these guys are the Watergate Crips. Watergate Crips. WGC. The Watergate Crips are located predominantly over there in between 120th Street and Imperial Highway. Crenshaw Boulevard to Van Ness Avenue. The WGCs are known to sport this here Washington Nationals hat. This hat comes in a couple of different color variations as well. The big chunky W on the front is to represent the W for Watergate. They also known to sport this here Florida Gators. The gator on the front symbolizes the gate for short in Watergate. And with that being said, that brings me to the end of this video. All right, the Inglewood legend, Inglewood hat edition. Thank you again for tuning in. Like I said at the beginning, I know there's maybe over a thousand or more so-called hat videos already on YouTube. So I guess one more won't hurt, right? Right. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And if I missed a hat, let me know that. Let me know. I might do a part two in the near future. Till then, and in between time, make sure you get this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Send it out. Share it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'm out. And I'm out. Gone. Inglewood Legend. Inglewood Lad. Inglewood Lad.